In this tutorial, we're going to analyze how to create a table and make some of your spreadsheets look a little bit more professional and also uh, easier to organize. Here in our Excel spreadsheet, we have the historical batting records of Derek Jeter. Right now, I just pulled them from a website, so they do not look very professional, they don't look formatted, and they would also not be the best way to this wouldn't be the best way to organize them so Excel has a built-in feature called the format as table function so all we have to do is select the cells that we would like to turn into a table and then from here just select the format we want so want to go with something dark and also separated by row so it's easier to read since there are so many columns here. Asks for where the data is. If I made any mistakes uh, in highlighting, I could click on this button and make changes. And I also do say that my table has headers. What this does is if this is checked, it will automatically add filter buttons on the top. Hit OK. Yes, and here we go. So it automatically changed this into a table. It added colors, it changed, uh, it added filters on the bottom, and it just changed the overall look and feel of the entire spreadsheet. What this now allows us to do is say that we want to see how what Derek Jeter did in 1995. Instead of selecting all, we click 1995, hit OK. And it shows us how many games he played in, his at-bats, run scored, hits, average, everything like that. Come back here, hit select all, hit OK, and it brings us all the data back again. Say that we selected this and we really didn't like the color scheme or we want to change something about it. We can come up to the top and you see that when we're clicked on this table, there's a new ribbon up here called Table Tools Design. Click Design, and right here we can make any number of changes. We can change the color. We can also change just a lot of different formatting combinations. So say we didn't really like the black. Say we want to go with something like this, blue. It automatically changes, and we can also, right here, change a couple different items on the sides, bottom, uh, to make it a little bit more customized. Because we have the year here, if we wanted to give that a little bit more of a distinction, we could click on Table Style Options, click First Column, and you see it changes. So the first column now is separated a little bit so the users can tell that uh, this column signifies the years. So uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with this uh, a table, uh, the table formula, and it allows you to very quickly and efficiently customize uh, all of your tables, your data, and to make it look more professional and easier to organize.